This one tamed the bull of the angry mind. The electrical stimulator in the skull responds to radio stimulation, so the bull is literally subject to remote control. Delgado has remote control of the animal. Dr. Penfield, I smell burnt toast. This one stimulated memories with electrodes on the brain. Ready? On. Buddy, did you feel anything? In that process, we have stumbled quite accidentally on the fact that there is recorded in the nerve cells of the human brain a complete record of the stream of consciousness. This one tried to decode brainwaves. Constructed a formula for what he termed cybernetics, control and communication in the animal and the machine. This one tried to erase and reprogram the mind. The work was done by the late Dr. Ewan Cameron. It involved extensive use of potentially dangerous drugs, excessive electric shock treatment, and endless tape-recorded messages to sleeping patients. Dr. Cameron wanted to erase, rewrite, and program the mind and the person with all new thoughts and behaviors. This one was a spy. Uh, I hope I have a reasonable moral standard. Also, this one. This is their perception of it, if, if I could no, just continue. No, it wasn't their perception of it either. No, it wasn't. Dangerous their... to his being, contrary yeah, to any previous that, consciously expressed intentions he, and interests, now, yeah, contrary to the good no. of the individual, and subversive to the goals yeah, for which he is consciously working. I understand working. all this talk. Most of the scientists who conduct these experiments say that because they do not yet understand enough about the brain, these techniques should not be used on humans. But this man says they should. He is Dr. Robert Heath. This one has never been proven to be a spy. This one tried for the push-button patient. He was in terror. He said, doctors from Boston are trying to get my brain. This one wanted to star in his own version of A Clockwork Orange. Dr. West planned to use his confidential political back channels to acquire a newly decommissioned Nike missile base, complete with underground facilities and nestled high in a remote area of the Santa Monica Mountains and turn it into a research facility to perform his experiments, altering people's behavior in a place he personally described as securely fenced and isolated. And this one. In the progress notes, I saw writing on the walls, murder. That's all, just writing on the walls, murder. This one tried to stop it all. I was not gonna stop. I was just not gonna stop about this. For the first time, man now has the tools to explore the living brain. It is doubtful that any meaningful form of consent is involved in this case. Does it tamper with minds? Does it tamper with minds? And if so, does anyone have the right to do that? Can the human mind be controlled and remain human? Many of today's developments were predicted 35 years ago in what was then called a fantasy. Its title, Brave New World.